Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your reading for June 22nd through the 28th, 2020. Watch this reading if you are a Sagittarius sun sign. Sag moon, Sag rising, Sag on the house cusp if you have your sun in the ninth house or Venus in Sagittarius. Watch this reading. Sagittarius, we are looking at six cards for your week ahead. How you see yourself today, the theme for you over the next week. What is something that Sagittarius has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. Show me the six cards for Sagittarius. Show me the six cards for Sagittarius. Two more shuffles here. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you this week. Happy new moon in Cancer. Happy summer solstice. Uh, it is eclipse season. So in other words, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. There's that new moon in Cancer. So, I feel like there is a lot being revealed to you or a lot hidden from you. Which one is it? Hmm. I feel like there's something being revealed to you when it comes to your emotions, your heart. All right, because... Cancer rules the chest area, and just like Leo rules the heart, Cancer is also about opening the heart up, preparing it for Leo season. So if there's anything that you've been hiding from yourself emotionally or from others, if there's anything that you have um, uh, been unwilling to look at from within, uh, this is going to be the time for you to do that, okay? Uh, because the moon is all about transformation, just like a mushroom grows in the, the dark of the, you know, a mushroom will grow overnight. It can bloom overnight. Uh, it can even go from being very small to very large and then topple over within, you know, a couple, a couple days. So things can grow and transform very quickly under this moonlight. All right. So I feel like it's a safe time for you to come out of your shell a little bit, explore these deep dark waters and take this this path uh your intuition is definitely speaking to you at this time something is not quite right or something is just a little off or there's just something here that you need to listen to your intuition on sag how you see yourself today we have death in reverse so this is about um burning bridges and running away from change there's going to be a major change for you um, within the next six months. It hasn't fully uh, it hasn't fully manifested yet. Okay, something is in the process of transformation. You're going through a major change right now. You're going through a major transformation. Could be your career, could be your love life, could be your marriage, could be your home, uh, a job, uh, anything. Your whole identity is going through a revision right now. And that may mean that you need to leave certain philosophies, uh, beliefs, people, ways of being in the world, mental schemas, all of that. You may need to leave certain things. When I say things, I mean movements, cultures, organizations, behind burning bridges, running away. Don't be afraid to light that bridge on fire. Don't be afraid to cut that cord because the life that you're going into will look nothing like the life that you're in now or preparing to leave because that's what you're preparing for, a new life. So the theme for you over the next week is the Nine of Swords in Reverse. 
So you are under a lot of stress and pressure. Sleepless nights, anxiety, PTSD. There's a lot. It's a lot. You may not even be sleeping right now or have regular hours. Shit, who does? I go to bed at like mm, somewhere between 1 and 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to tell you what time I wake up because that's none of your business. But I'm just here to tell you that it's okay. It's okay. Something that Sagittarius has already learned in their past. We have the Hierophant in reverse. You don't want to do it this way anymore. It's not working for you. The way things are done is not working for you. The traditions, the belief systems, the vows. It's just a piece of paper. Rules? What rules? You're, you, you write the rules. You're rewriting the rules. This marriage, this faith, this commitment, it's just a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. What means something to you? What, what, really, what do you really value? <clears throat> what knowledge, what values do you uphold right now? Because those are the ones that you're going to be taking with you for the rest of the year. So whatever you no longer believe in, you're going to rebel against like you have been. Scorpio, Sag, Cusp. It's the cusp of rebellion. Sagittarius, the beginning of the first deacon of Sagittarius and the last deacon of Scorpio going into Sagittarius is the cusp of rebellion. So you're figuring it out. You're figuring it out right now. You're getting to the bottom of it. Yes, you are. Your challenge is a six of pentacles because you're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And you're paying out. You're always the one giving. But I think that that's going to start to change because you're starting to realize that the people that you're giving to aren't really returning the favor. They're not. So many mouths to feed, so many open hands. Looking for a handout. But they're not going to work for it. They don't want to work for it. They don't want to put in the time and the energy. It's a one-sided situation, and you know this. And you're tired of being taken for granted. You want something that's really equal, really fair. You want someone to take you out for a change. Because you're always the provider. You're always the backbone. You're always there for everyone. And no one's ever there for you. Well, that sucks. We got to change that. The lesson you are learning now. Don't talk. Ace of swords reversed. Shut your mouth. Be quiet. <laughs> Because maybe you've been running your mouth a little bit lately. You don't have the answers. If you don't have all the answers, then don't say anything. I don't think someone in this position is going to have all the answers. It's okay to say, I don't know. It's, o it's okay to say, I'm sorry, I'll pass on that one. Or I, I plead the fifth. Or, um, sorry, I, I'm tired. I don't know. I can't talk right now. I need time for myself. It's okay not to talk. And it's okay not to have all the answers. Yeah? The gift you will receive. The six of wands reversed. The need for validation is unreal. What happens if you don't have a social media account? What happens if you turn your phone off for the week? What happens if you stop caring what people think? 
It's not the end of the world. I feel like you put a lot of value on how other people see you, on how other people see you, on how other people interpret your actions, um, the need to be validated by people that are shrimps in your life. The pages, for example. It's getting old because no one cares anymore. You just need to fall, you just need to do you right now. Now worry about what other people think. Because at the end of the day, we know that you're a bomb. We know you're the bomb. You're Sagittarius. You don't need to prove yourself anymore. We already know. Because we love you. We appreciate you. But when are you going to start appreciating and loving yourself? That's the end of my reading. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Thank you.